Hello guys, happy Sunday. Yes, we're going to get right on into it. Okay, we're going to be talking about a story from all about the T.com. We have uh, Abigail Landerneur. She's an entertainment blogger for all about the T.com. Her article title was Andy Cohen Catches Kenya Moore Using Fake Name to Drag Portia Williams on Watch What Happens Live. <laughs> Even Andy Cohen is trying to throw salt on Kenya's name. Okay, first she picked that Nene with her secondhand wearing of a dress. Now he's coming for Kenya about her calling up on his platform when he has guests on the show. And he feel it was Kenya Moore that called in. She reckon he recognized her voice trying to drag Portia. And hey, you know Andy like Portia, child, please. But let's get on into the story. It says Kenya Moore was caught red-handed as a fake caller on Watch What Happens Live this week. Okay? Mm-mm. Getting back on into it. The embarrassing spectacle went down last Sunday when Real Housewives of Atlanta star Eva Marcel appeared on the late night talk show alongside Tyra Banks. During the show, host Andy Cohen asked to speak to the next caller, Dana, who asked a very shady question only Kenya Moore would care about. Basically, my question is, do you think Portia has truly moved past her issues with Kenya? Because it seems like to me, uh, like this whole season, she's been extremely shady and she's never neutral. And she's always hopping on the opposite side of Kenya. The caller Dana said, Andy Cohen believed the caller to be Kenya Moore, okay, and called her out. I'm like, go ahead, and they call a spade a spade, see, Team Twirls, what y'all got to say about that? But don't tell me. Get into them comments and get into the subject matter and let us hear what you have to say, okay? I'm just saying. Going back to the article, it says, interesting. Thank you for your call, Kenya. I'm just kidding. And the Cohen responded with, la uh, with laughter. Now, you know, goodwill, footloose, and fancy free. And the Cohen did not... Uh, embellished that story he believed in his whole hearts of hearts that that truly was kenya moore okay or he wouldn't have said it but anyway um it's just pretty much saying what do you all think about it now let's let's see if i can get play a little audio from that particular uh sunday that it aired uh let's see here Searching for a spring break getaway? Find it with Verbo. Uh, wait a minute, no, that was it. Homes to find the perfect one. Come where on, you can take oh, why are you acting up? Jeez, oh, hold on, guys. Let's see if we can go back into that article. What was trying to play? Shoot, come on. Hey, how are you? You guys look fabulous. Uh, my question is for Eva. Okay. Hey, Dana. Eva. Hey, how are you? You're representing Clark Atlanta very well, honey. Thank you. See you. Find a way or make one. <laughs> uh, right. So basically my question is, do you think that Portia has truly moved past her issues with Kenya? Because it seems to me like this whole season, she's been extremely shady, she's never neutral, and she's always hopping on the opposite side of Kenya. Oh. Interesting. I Thank look, you for your call, that's Kenya. That's a good one. I didn't look at it like I'm that. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry. I'm totally kidding. Um, I don't think that Kenya and Portia have any underlying issues. I think that Portia good. is riding for Tanya. And I think Tanya gives uh, the short end of the stick a lot. No. Last season, she was bullied a lot. This season, she Got has it. just taken a lot of it. And so I think Portia just defended her friend. Now, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think Andy was being shady? Or did he truly believe that was Kenya? Uh 
trying to uh, disguise her voice to be able to ask that question and not be deemed as petty. Okay, y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought. And I will read them as I usually do. But definitely keep bringing people to the house. Let's continue to mix and mingle with new people. Um, and they decide whether they want to become family members or not. Okay, because that's all we do. We just sit down, chit chat with one another. See what else is going on on people's minds. How they're thinking about subject matter. So we can all weigh in and make a great um uh, discussion okay but that's all i have for this particular video uh like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see y'all next time on our channel Dev chanel's 40s world see you later